D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to access the drain pump or the condensate drain pump in this here Mitsubishi VRF ceiling cassette. Okay? Or doesn't have to be a VRF if you have a ceiling cassette. Any ceiling cassette. It's just Mr. Bishi. Um, this is how you're going to access the drain pumps. Alright, but before I get into the video, if you hadn't subscribed, please do so right now. And smash that bell icon so that when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. So, uh, I did a previous video and I'm going to leave the link in the description of the official diagnostics of this unit here and um, it was an error code 2502 so if you want to see that video check down in the description and you're gonna I'm gonna leave the link down there okay so now I am going to access the drain pump it's behind here Okay, but in order to do it, you gotta go from the inside, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so the first thing, just dropped my drill. Ouch, ouch. Hope it's still alive, let's see. intact baby still intact okay see it on safe over there set it down nice and safe so the first thing you want to want to do there is four uh, screws on the corners here one right here one there one there another one here you want to remove those four screws and when you remove those screws it enables you to slide this piece out okay so then you can access more screws <laughs> all right so do that as a first step and um, you should already know how to open this cover all right if you don't watch the other video in my any other video I'll, I'll I'll show you to unslide these clips it's pretty easy these clips right here okay and then you just unplug this uh this harness okay that's pretty straightforward all right so i'm going to go ahead and remove the other the remaining three pieces of these and again in order to remove this in order to take, to get this one out you have to remove these four screws okay four corners okay stay tuned Okay, so guys, of those uh, four pieces, four corners out. So again, it's a screw here, four screws, remove the four screws. Now, before you even get to removing the screws, you gotta unplug this harness. Okay, because if you don't unplug this, then this piece right here, the sole face, will be attached by this wire. Also, additionally, I think here has to be remove this uh, sensor as well before you move to the move to the next the next step let's get it out of there okay because this whole bit is gonna come down and already I could see the screw missing from there on this end so there's a screw here you can pretty much just swivel it, as you can see. And there's another one here, this is fixed. There's another one here, you can swivel it. So the other fixed screw is missing. See this old hand is just coming down like that. It's a poor installation. All right, so next phase, I'm gonna loosen this screw right here. And then this screw's already out, so that's cool. So I'm going to remove this screw, 
and then just swivel it and take it down. See right there, loosen that one a little bit, but not, not completely removing this, just leave it in there still. And same thing here, just leave it in there still. Okay, so as you could see, I have the, the two screws out. This one here. And that one there, even though it was, it was already out. This was already out. And these right here. I just loosened enough so I could swivel it and lift this thing down safely okay guys so there you go all the four screws right there which means that that old that old swiveling action business didn't work in a perfect world it would in this case it didn't so I'll actually have to hold it, hold it with one hand and have the drill in another hand, in the other hand, you know, while I remove it. Luckily, this is not a, this is a small baby. This is 12K, 12,000 BDUs. But if it's like a 24 or 36, then you're pretty much, you're going to need some help. All right. Um, so yeah, this uh, sensor could have been left here. If you're just removing the face cover or the, the bottom cover um, however this here is the drain pan this whole thing right here and this here is the drain plug so condensate drain plug so once you remove this this rubber plug from this foam this foam drain pan um, whatever water is in the pan is going to come out so that's the first thing I'm going to do because the pump, as you can see, the pump is right back there. That's the pump. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this plug and collect whatever water is in there, right? Before I go ahead and uh, bring this pan down. All right. Now to bring this pan down, if you want to fast forward, there is one. two, three, four Phillips screws. And I don't believe you have to remove this little shield right here, this mesh to get it down. I think this is on one piece, all on one piece. So you can leave that there. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and give that a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you hadn't subscribed and don't forget to smash that bell icon all right so let me go ahead and release my water on the contrary this thing was dry it was bone dry uh, there was no water in this thing so you know you see like that i just use my flat screwdriver stick it on the day like so and then just you know, let us pry it out, you know. That's it. Gotta be careful because this is foam. And you could just easily damage it. Okay. Alright, so next step. I'm going to remove the pan. And uh, get to this the, the sensor or the float assembly. See what's going on. And um, yeah. It's going pretty good guys again give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you have not subscribed okay so I'm a bit curious as to why I was getting an error code and um, there's no water in this pan so that's that's a question mark right here if you know you guys know 
leave in the comment section. You know, I was getting an error code because I, 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 I purposely leave this unit or this indoor unit on the system in the off position. And when I came in this morning, all of the indoor units was, was off because this unit was seeing a 2502. So I don't know why that was. Perhaps when I open here, I'll see. Perhaps, perhaps it's a thermistor. And if the thermistor doesn't see or senses a certain amount of water in the pan or senses water in the pan, um, it goes into fault. I don't know. If you guys know, leave it in the comment section. All right. So this is already loose. My four screws are already been removed. Four screws are out. So I'll take your time. And uh, actually, it's plastic up above the phone. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, where is the drain sensor? Okay, that is a thermistor. Okay, so it's not a it's not a float, it's a thermistor. Right there. Right there. Hmm. Huh. What's this? Is this oil? Yes, that's oil. Do we have a leak here? Is it at all possible that we have a leak on the inside here? Yeah, this is oil. Ah. Yes, it's definitely oil. All right, nonetheless, let's see if we could figure out what's going on here. Perhaps it's a faulty thermistor. Because in this setup, I thought. It was a float assembly because in the other ducted type it's float it's a float but this here is a thermistor so based on the uh level of the water i guess the the temperature of the sensor will be cooler or warmer i i don't know what kind of a algorithm or programming they're using for that but i know that i was getting an error on this unit still even though there was no water in the pan because i purposely leave it off again if you know what's going on here if you're a pro, just leave that in the comment section. But I'm going to uh, um, do a hard reset on the condenser to see if I can get the system back online. Now that's about it for this video, guys. If you like it, if it if it helped you out, if it helped you out, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, basically, yeah. You know, Four more screws, four Phillips screws. One, two. Actually, no, it's three. There's one back here. There's one. Camera focused, out of focus. One right there. And two over here. So, once you remove those, you can remove your pump assembly. But first, you have to remove this hose clamp. Is rather rusty okay you can take this hose off that's where the water exit there's the water enters the pump here it siphons through this bit just through this hole it siphons the water and the water goes up and comes up top and go out and also you're gonna have to unplug this yellow wire in this black plug where you already I already have this unplugged this is a thermistor or a sensor so, uh, yeah, I thought this was a float. In the previous video, I mentioned this to be a float. Um, that was false. I was, uh, it's actually the first time I'm coming inside of one of these units. I've never did the drain pump 
on a ceiling cassette before so I did it on the ducted type and it's a uh, float that's in there so this is a thermistor okay and that's pretty much it guys pretty cool wonder what's up with this oil right here though oil stain I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna go to the condenser and do a hard reset okay if you don't know how to do that question in the comment I'll tell you I'll answer <laughs>